What's up ladies and non-ladies, it is Serial Killer back again with another Guild War for you against something in Mandarin. And it looks like we are getting crushed pretty hard here. Our rank's not super high, I don't know why we're getting crushed so hard. Does that guy have a swag um, avatar? But um, I don't know, I thought that that's what that was for. But let's see what we've got. Oh my god. I was like thinking about fighting that guy and he's won like every fight that he's had. So we'll go ahead and skip that dude for now. This guy I think could be some fun fights. We have a couple options. Kind of a couple options for both teams, but the bottom team is just begging to get Lucian. So unless we can't for the top team for some reason we're gonna go ahead and stick Lucian and friends in the bottom. I think I'll take a zinc as normal. I don't really need the zinc to, like I don't need his buff blocking, but I don't know that I have a better companion for Lucian anyway. Normally I use this team to one-shot Theo's first turn, so I need zinc's uh, buff block. But let's figure out the top team and then we'll figure out who to take as the last guy because pretty much I think those two can probably handle the bottom round and I think that's what we're gonna do for this top team we'll probably kill the Iona first shouldn't take too long and then we'll probably kill the uh, the Chiwu second I don't really like that top team the I mean I don't know this tractor just does some serious work I am not afraid of this retesh at all a month ago, I would have been afraid of this retesh because I would have just brought in regular stuff and worried that he was going to, you know, proc six times and kill something. Um, I don't see him killing the tractor without an armor break, and then I don't see him killing either of the fire guys. Oh my gosh, this Iona is going ape shit. Well, let's see. <laughs> He'll get his chance right here. Okay, cool. So the retesh kept it relatively controlled. I'd like to kill this Iona relatively quickly and I can't one shot her I think I can two shot her and hopefully I can just keep the uh, hopefully I can get a heal block on her then hit her with a cookie nuke and then hit her with a second cookie nuke I don't know if I should nuke her or heal block her now whatever I decide is gonna end up being the wrong answer oh well so we'll uh, we'll attempt to heal block and fail and then we're going to do this, fail to kill her, and then Retesh is going to not heal her for some reason? <laughs> oh, smooth move Retesh. I don't think that was on cooldown. I don't think he had any reason to heal anyone. I think he just uh, decided not to use it. So we will we'll kill the Chiwu just on the assumption that the Retesh isn't going to do anything, and that Chiwu is going to keep stunning me and pulling off all my my hots and my bubbles all of my healing is buff based so Chiwu does a pretty good job of screwing with that ooh oh yeah Panda will finish him off mm, love these three oh my god these three are so broken together good night Retesh dude and Tractor is on fire stunning that Retesh he stunned the Retesh the entire time and this one should be all right. We just need a couple K there. I think Lucian's got kill at least the panda. Nice. I got the Verad also. And as much as I love Fire Panda, he is not going to uh, be one v threeing me anytime soon. So let's move on to our next victim. Thank you, Kevin901. Yeah. See that red and blue wing? This thing. I thought that was for the swag people, and it's too small for me to read. I'm pretty sure that says swag in white up at the top. But uh, And I thought swag was its own guild. But we will assume that he's got like crazy G12 runes and not fight that swag guy. This one, we're gonna, we're gonna try our luck Lucianing the top one. I like this bottom team because again, it's a big scary team that I don't think I'm afraid of at all. I don't know what I want to do. I thought about just tractoring it, and that probably would have been pretty safe, but there's nothing stopping me from copper dozering it, 
and Copper Dozer takes nine seconds and Tractor takes four days. So we will uh, we will do the truck the Copper Dozer because they failed to put anything in there that prevents that. And luckily there's no will runes on the Theo. Oh yeah, we're gonna kill the Bella too. Squishy Bella. Squishy squishy Bella. And yeah, so we actually did try to do one, but you'll see the best that buff in or the best that nerf in action right there. I glanced on the first two hits of my AoE and got none of my debuffs up. Excellent job, guys. Good use of Wind Monkey and Zyros. You did zero damage. And now you die too. And now I win. Might as well strip her. And then she's... Well, she's just going to laser and heal. She'll, she'll never get anything done on that uh, copper. Even better if uh, Bulldozer stuns her the whole time. Oh, she's violent. Still not going to matter. I don't think she'll last till the next bulldozer nuke. If she does, bulldozer will kill her then. Get her, Emma. Oh, yeah, that 1500 auto attack just destroyed that Chloe. I agree. Julie is very nice. <laughs> I just noticed that guy's name. Go, 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 go. The Camila avatar dude is in a super hurry. I don't know. I feel like such a bitch not wanting to fight this guy but he's got like 52 defense wins and I feel like fighting him is a bad idea not to mention the fact that he's got what is that three lightnings he's got 1400 RTA rank is that what that is 1300 1400 way higher than me but I feel I feel like this is what I see I see a shitty top team that's probably going to destroy me because his runes are really good. And I see a really good bottom team that's just going to kick my ass either way. Unless I either Delphoy it. I think Theo Delphoy Emma is like the only chance I have at this bottom team. I don't see a good way to do it. If I got lucky, I could kill the Theo Mars and the Orion with a Lucian Zinc team. And then the Rakan will first turn my Lucian down. I don't think that that is a safe bet. Ooh, uh, a Ganymede. <laughs> uh, look at this guy. A Ganymede and an Eladrill. What a cancer team. Um, I want to fight this one. I don't know that I've... I'm sure I've ran into him every once in a while, but I don't know if I've fought a Ganymede in Guild Wars. And I think... I think we can handle him. We will, uh... Should we copper that top team or tractor the top team? I think we'll take tractor... I don't know if I want to just take tractor and then just, like, copper it also. Or just bring the whole tractor team. I think I'm going to bring the whole tractor team. Just because the Lisa and the Orion can be asshats. And I'm assuming this guy's got really nice runes because he has won. He is crushing it on his uh, defense success rate. So we shall see. As expected, they're going to go 16 times for every one time I get to go. Ooh, that wasn't bad. Yeah, keep hitting him. So part of this team is th the colors. The colors are very important. And when, I mean my team. That Wind Monkey is their main damage. And the Wind Monkey just chose to not hit my Armored Broken uh, Kamoon because of the color attributes. So he hit my regular Tractor instead and did zero damage. That is what makes this combo so well. The AI doing silly stuff. Now Lisa kind of screws that up because she will drag the Monkey over into that uh, the cookie. But I don't, I don't think I'm going to have a problem here. If we had even runes, I think my team was shit all over this enemy team. I think we're fighting a little bit of an uphill battle. But I still feel okay here. I just need, I need that armor break. And now I need a big old nuke right here. Oh, not big old nuke enough. Only 14k. 
Why is that so squishy? Oh my god. That Lisa has one hit point. Ugh. And then no more armor break. And then 18 everythings. Alright, Lisa's dead. And I'm really not scared yet. My tractor and my panda are at half life. But, like, they're both extremely tanky. That is still a lot of effective health left. And now that that Lisa's gone, A, they're not going to be pulling the armor break off. But B, more importantly, they're not going to be kicking left and right. The Orion's going to be armor breaking my fire people and the wind panda is going to not give a shit and keep hitting tractor and then they'll never get anything done and this orion is going to fall really really quick like should i armor break the monkey i don't think i'll kill orion with the panda oh i would have liked to have armor broken that uh, monkey but i didn't think my my panda would kill the orion anyway so i figured screw it let's get an armor break up Ended up not mattering because I didn't land my armor break, but we're we're past the crucial stage anyway. We're just cleaning up. We're waiting for that armor break to land, and we're going to hit him with a big old nuke. Did I do something? I wonder if I stole a rune from, from uh, Fire Dog Face because... Oh, that's a monkey. That's why I hit him for so small. Let's see, 14. Why did I hit the Lisa for also 14? That's weird. Oh, violent asshole. Oh, and he, I forgot, he he resets the attack bar on the whole team. And of course, the Omar's armor breaks me. I'm surprised that the Omar's didn't go 16 more times and kill my whole fucking team. And the dude hit for 7k and went again. Oh, there's the violent proc. Thank you, Theo. I appreciate that. Oh, another one. Cool. Um, and that Ganymede just went 17 times. I do not like this team. The Theo's down. The Theo's going to come back up. And really, the, the Ganymede is what, is what fucked me up here. That, that first turn attack bar knockback was really bad. And then the, uh, of course, that Ganymede just reset the passive on Theo. Thank you for that. When I was looking at this fight, I was going, oh, it's cool. I'll kill the Theo, and the Ganymede will cast his Ventilate thing while the Theo's dead, and the Theo won't get it. Of course, uh, the second time he casts it, it'll work quite perfectly. So I got rocked there. Uh, that is how you don't kill a uh, either jail Ganymede Theo Mars. Let's burn some of these wings. Let's see what we got. Rakan and a fire dude that's weird actually you know what let's go back let's let's skip nothing let's kill everyone i want to list clear or fail to list clear but we're gonna fight everything now this is a shitload of fire i don't think i want to lucian it but i do want to yolo it i think we want to squeeze galleon in here and then maybe do the unthinkable and don't take Bastet? Or maybe... Well, no, yeah. We need our Bernard because they have a Chloe. Or we ditch our Bernard and bring a Triton and just strip the Chloe. Things. I actually kind of like that. Either way, I want the Galleon. Do we bring a Triton or a Bernard? We either Bernard and try to go first or, or Triton and let them go first and strip them. I never use my Triton. I really, really should. Let's hope we're faster than them, first of all. Okay, cool. So we got first turn. We will hopefully armor break the Rakan. That's really all I care about. And of course, <laughs> that's the... We're, so we're just going to kill the Chloe thing. Oh, and we got the uh, the Fire Thief. So let's, well, and we failed to get the attack break on, on Theo. Things are going splendidly for us so far. I think I want to knock that Rakan back. I don't want him eating Bernard yet. Oh, I did not want you eating my whole team either. All right, so you're dead. Again, failed the attack break. That Bernard just failed two attack breaks in a row. 
Now we're okay here at this point. Uh, Besta and Galleon will kill this Rakan by themselves. And this bubble's probably going to keep my Bernard alive, but if Bernard dies, I do not care. At least now. If he would have died earlier, it would have been mucho problemo. I think my auto attack hits harder on Bastet than her nuke. Oh, I love that Bastet bubble. The Rakan just hit my Bernard and didn't break the bubble. Oh my god. So much happiness. So this is a cool team that we are going to shit on. They have their whole team relies on their Praha stealing a turn if we AoE nuke them and with Nemesis runes. And we're going to bring a Julie. She's not going to proc the Nemesis. And then my Lucian's going to murder face their team. Notice that Praha, the, well, no one got Nemesis buffs. But Lucian will kill the Praha. I was actually expecting it to do a little bit more on the Chloe. I get pretty lucky and do some good damage on Chloe's with Lucian. And I think we can kill you. Yeah, we'll let him pop her up. We'll deal with that later. I don't care. Kill that damn Eladril. Right? Or do we save it and kill the Eladril with the Lucian? Yeah, okay, cool. I wasn't 100% that my Lucian or my Bernard was going to go in front of their Chloe. But I really wanted that Eladril dead. And maybe get an armor break on Praha? No. But that'll work too. We got a heal block and uh, she used her heal. So I like that as well. Let's AoE. We'll kill the Praha. And then it's probably about time for Chloe to cast another buff. Just to waste another 14 seconds of our life. But maybe we can kill her before that happens. I think that all comes down to if Bernard lands this armor break, which he did not. Three in a row. We'll give him that one, though, because that's on a Chloe. And I guess one of the other ones he failed was on a Rakan. So I thought about using my, my third skill because it hits a little bit harder, but her life's not at full. So Julie's number two actually hits harder than her number three when her life's not full, and it has the chance for the freeze. So it's kind of a, a no-brainer on a single target when your life's not full to use her uh, skill too. This one, I'm not afraid of at all. We're just going to Lucian this thing right into the ground. I think the, the Chloe's only 35, so I'll probably kill the Chloe, and I'll kill the Zyros, and the Varad, and the Chisun. This whole team is just Dunsies. Actually, it looks like this Chloe might survive. Got some good glances. And it's actually relatively tanky considering a 35. It has decent runes. It's just still... 35 for whatever reason. <laughs> Dude, that guy's name is Bubbly Cran. <laughs> that is, that has got to be way high up there in the uh, teams. Now you'll notice this might look like an odd choice. I do this all the time. I have no problem double-lucianing a Vela Jewel Kumar. The, the Kumar is not enough of a Lucian deterrent, and if you'll see this Vela Jewel is probably going to die. Yeah, the, the Vela Jewels just don't have enough hit points. Same thing with the Fire Panda. They're super tanky. Lucians kill them very well. I wouldn't count on one Lucian killing a Vela Jewel, but two Lucians will kill a Vela Jewel no problem. And on that note, two Lucians do some pretty good work, even into a Kumar. It's. I honestly don't think Fire Monsters by themselves are a Lucian deterrents. I think Fire Monster and a Speed Lead is a Lucian deterrent. If if this guy's retesh was a Kumar, that would be Andy had something faster. You also need he's got the nice speed lead, but there's nothing super fast on here. That Wusa was the fastest thing, or probably was the fastest thing, and they're usually not blazing fast. Although I've been cut before. I've had a, a Wusa go in front of my YOLO team and just ruin everything. And I'm like, oh well I was not expecting him to be two hundred and eighty something speed. But uh, it does happen every once in a while. This guy should be should be food. I'm planning on killing the Zyros and the Bernard. Maybe just those two with the first Lucian. And then we'll kind of clean everything else up on the way back. Ooh, we got the Chiwu also and almost that just soon. Did some, some good work into these guys. I love those 18k crits coming out of Bernard. So happy I six-starred him. Look at the avatar on this John dude. He's got a bitchin' little, little uh, like a Joker mask. 
I think we want to go this route. Maybe take the galleon again. There's a lot of fire in here. We really don't need a Lucian. And pretty much anything with an armor break is going to die. And galleon's awesome, so he's going to armor break all four of them. And then Julie's going to kill all four of them. And then everyone's going to say, good job, Cyril. You're a... God damn it, galleon. <sighs> all right, well, the... <laughs> we got one of them. And we actually pulled the Chloe out as well. And the Sam reset the Theo. That actually worked out pretty well. Good job, Sam. Very not good job, Galleon. I think I've I've brought Galleon twice, and he's screwed up both times. This is a team that normally I would skip, just because I hate dealing with these stupid birds. But we are not skipping anything tonight. So how do we deal with that? Um, normally I would just say, oh, let's Copper Dozer it and tank all this shit, but they have that Triton. Kind of ruins my Copper Dozer juice. Although I wonder if... I bet you their bird face is really fast, but the other things probably aren't. I wonder if I could just bring my Triton and knock them back for as much as they go forward. See, my Bastet will push me the same amount as their their uh, Amduat, and my Triton will push them back the same amount. And I really only need to get one Lucian off, and that'll kill the Triton and the, the Egypt bird. And Asima can resurrect one of them, and if she survives that, she might not. My, my Lucian probably won't kill that Veramos. We're going to face punch these guys to death, no problem. Everyone's going to hide behind Bastet's super bitch and bubble, and we're just going to fucking tank this. Oh, that Theomar, or that, their Triton's going to eat my bubble. Let's see what happens. We'll knock the will down on this dude, and hopefully knock his attack bar back on this black bird. That's what we want and need, and you resisted it, damn you. So he goes, stuns my Triton, but not my Lucian. Bad news bears for you, and Sam just got... A uh, Sam increased the cooldown on all four of them. Jesus, Sam. Well done, senor. So we got a little bit lucky there, although we also got unlucky there. If the Black Egypt bird hadn't resisted my Triton, he wouldn't have even gotten the chance to go in between, and we wouldn't have had to worry about all that. So this, this team, we're just going to single Lucian down. They don't... This is a team like a month ago. Well, I'll call it like two months ago, when I was essentially bringing like four, you know, well, actually I was bringing like three Ifrits and a Bella is what I was doing, and this kind of team would have been a giant pain in the ass. As soon as I switched to the Julie team, which was probably four or five months ago at this point, I would have just Julied the shit out of that team, and then Julie turned into Lucian. And then Lucian turned into two Lucians, and now that team's got nothing. This team scares me a little bit more than that one, mainly because Perna's an asshole, and Orion's an asshole, and the other two really don't bother me at all. Abella, Chloe, I don't mind them, but Orion and Perna can both be pricks. I would love to reset this Perna, which I did not get. So, oh wow, we, we did some work with that Lucian. So we should be all right there. Oh, man, that best that bubble is just ridiculous. My Lucian just took two Perna hits to the face, got stunned, and we ended up not needing him anyway, but he did not die. He just got hit in the face twice by a Perna and took it because of that best that bubble. Super, super bueno sauce. So we ran out of wings, but we did get the clear. So we got two free wings. I grabbed my other three from my friend's thing, and we'll get five more fights in. Still skipping nothing, killing or dying. No skipping. This team, I don't like. He's got, he's got a Sierra lead, which is awesome. But he's got nothing that's fast. None of this stuff is going to take advantage of his Sierra lead. So, I don't know. I don't like that team. I think if you have a Sierra lead, or any speed lead, you need an Orion, a Bastet, a, a uh, Bernard, 
something really quick, a really fast Triton. I mean, you could you could make do with a really fast Lusa, but like it's extremely rare to have a 280 Lusa. I do not think that guy's Lusa was 280. I don't think his speed lead was really doing much for him. I think he would have been better off with a hit point lead and just trying to tank stuff better. But that's uh that's my opinion and uh not the general consensus. People seem to just think any speed lead is better than than nothing. See, like this guy, he's got a Vanessa speed lead and an Orion. So I'm going to, I have to assume that his Orion is 260 speed and he's got a Vanessa lead. So I have to bring a speed lead if I want to go first. I can pretty much guarantee that his Orion is going to go in front of my Bernard if I don't bring a speed lead. That right there prevents me from bringing a second Lucian. Now, I would have loved to take in Julie on this team because of the Praha, but again, his speed leader Vanessa ruins that. Luckily, the Sam softened everything up enough to where my Lucian killed it. I was actually planning on the Lucian maybe killing a couple things, not the Praha. The Praha getting a heal off and then dealing with them after the fact. I was planning on this being a, a like, kill everything on the second amp magic fight. But we uh, we got lucky. We did some some good damage with that that Sam. He got some decent damage off, and it was enough for Lucian to murder face everything to death. Sorry, Colts Damon. Ooh, what is this team? This is a team where we grab whatever we want and we kill it right in the face. And when I say that. I say you bring Lucian and any other three monsters you want and kill this in the face. This guy doesn't have will runes, so we could have Julied him, no problem. Julie would have killed the Verad and the Veramos, no problem. And then your non-water guy that you bring with Julie, be it a Shimte or anything not water, would have no problem killing the other two. I really like Shimte with Julie, because you get you got two decent AoEs. Well, Chimte's decent AoE, Julie's monster AoE, and then they both have really, really nice single target to finish off whatever stays alive like that. Mm, this team going to die. This is a good team, though. I like this guy's AD. He's got a Chibu Orion, so I have to bring my speed leader. And he's got a Theomars that can be an asshole. He's got a Chio, Chibu that strips and an Orion that can go fast. This guy, I got lucky and was faster than him, so I won. If he was faster than me, he would have won. I like that guy's team. Alright guys, that's about it for tonight. As always, hopefully you enjoyed yourself. If you did enjoy yourself, please take the time to let me know with that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.